Hi, I'm Carrie Beck with CurriculumConnection.net, and I'm here to show you some really cool math books. You may be familiar with the circumference series. A lot of people seem to understand or have heard of those, but I have found some of the best living books, story books that teach math. Believe it or not, there are story books that actually teach math. Math is part of our lives. It ought to be part of stories as well. Let me just show you some of these. These are more for um, younger kids, maybe, I don't know, up through fourth or fifth grade, something like that. Um, even, but starting even in uh, five years old. Let me show you what I mean. This first book, A Place for Zero, is all about place value and zero having a place and not leaving it off when we're doing problems. And you can see these are very well done. Lots of color, um, great stories as well. Equal schmequal, what a name! All about equal sides of an equation. And what does equal really mean? Once again, really fun story, tug of war type thing to show what's equal and what's not. Once upon a dime. This is something that is a good story, but it also talks about money. Dimes and nickels and those type of things. So this is a great way to introduce your children to, um, to money. Sold a mathematics adventure, another one about money, but it talks about an auction. You know, you could even relate that to eBay, couldn't you? But this is a real auctioneer and the story of a young man. At the back, we've got a little um, form that your children could fill out if they ever did want to go to an auction or if they were saving their allowance for something. Alice in Postaland, you know, Alice in Wonderland, that's who it's based on. We've got Alice right down here, and she's throughout the entire story. Um, well, there she is again. And she is learning all about numbers and adding, that type of thing. We've got Quantum Cat, who's adding spice. So it's all sorts of number possibilities here in Alice in Postaland. And then finally, in this set, we have the Multiplying Menace. The Revenge of Rumpelstiltskin. And you can see lots of fun in this particular book, but it's all about multiplying. And that is really just adding quickly. It does introduce the concept of a fraction as well. Now, all of these are what we call our Young Math Adventures. If you would like to grab a copy of any one of these, there's a link at the end of this video. If you decide to get all of them, we'll give you a big discount. Isn't that cool? So, um, let me just review. We've got Multiplying Menace, Alice in Postaland, Sold, Once Upon a Dime, Equal Schmequel, and A Place for Zero. I'm Carrie Beck, CurriculumConnection.net. Have a great day.